Moon Train, but it got a major, major upgrade today, guys. Moon Train's got a major upgrade. If you're not familiar with what the Moon Train is, Northrop Grumman last year won a contract for a, moon, a train on the moon. And today, today, look at this. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy announces expedited plans to build a nuclear reactor on the moon. So for all my people out there who are not believers in outer space or believers we went to the moon, well, shit, it's about to get really awkward because apparently we're about to have nuclear-powered moon trains. Nuclear-powered moon trains. This is definitely what we need right now, guys. Obviously, the number one priority is nuclear-powered moon trains. What, you think we need, like, what, housing and food and shelter for people in America? No, we need moon trains. There are only a few fuels that can be used for something called a neutronic fusion. A neutronic fusion. You probably never heard of that before. Most people had not. A neutronic fusion is the idea that we can make a fusion reaction that does not rely on producing energy through heat. You say, well, what, what do you mean? Well, there's more than one kind of energy. We can get electricity. And if we can create any kind of reactor that can produce electricity directly, it's going to be significantly more efficient than any other current form of energy production we have today. We are calling it cool fusion. Cool fusion. Tonight, I'm going to explain to you guys the difference between hot fusion, cold fusion, and cool fusion. But one of the few a neutronic fuel sources is helium-3. Another one is boron-11. And just to clarify, the energy source. So what we're saying is if you've got this flying saucer flying around, how is it floating there? The amount of energy required to keep it there or to make it move around like this or to teleport, based on our understanding of physics, is this huge amount of energy. The answer to that question is the ether is the zero point energy, but it's also just making a system that's so efficient that what looks like a huge amount of energy actually just is a really, really efficient use of energy. Probably a combination of all of those things.